Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you a pioneer, Mr. Ramesh Arvind. Actor, director, screenwriter, a reality show star, just a passionate Bangalorean, but a motivational force for a positive change. All by this, the most active citizen and a brand ambassador of our beautiful city. His glorious career has not only earned him laurels in the entertainment industry, but has also made him an integral part of the cultural identity of Bengaluru. Ramesh Arvinds, he's a motivational speaker, inspiring others to join the journey for betterment. Through his actions and words, he ignites a spirit of involvement, contributing to Bangalore, a city we can all take pride in. Watching him only in movies to actually getting to be a part of a show as a daughter of his guest, which he hosts to inspire, it was a moment of self-motivation for me, sir. His warmth, humility, and his cheerful spirit are the qualities which stood out when I requested him to come and join this motivation mission for promoting active citizenship in young minds. His want to contribute to the city that gave him so much has shaped him to a true ambassador of brand Bengaluru and his want to give back to the city that gave him so much more. Beyond the spotlight, he is an ardent supporter of initiatives that foster innovation and leadership among the youth who carry our torch forward. Leadership for me is a true combination of integrity, inspiration and humility. Ramesh sir has always showcased his integrity through words and actions, inspired people as he ignites the other's potential, leads not only to shine but also to serve. He has not just been an active citizen today but also a leading citizen who's led us to the path of empowerment as the future stands alone, a huge brand himself. Sir, thank you for being a part of this journey that has just begun. As we celebrate Brand Bengaluru today, I would like you to tell us that we started here at Bengaluru and we want to build the community of youth leaders around every city of my state, Karnataka, as Brand Mysore, Brand Hubli, Brand Mangalore in the days to come. I now request you, sir, to share your thoughts and your secret of self-motivation that has always kept you motivated and you as a leader who have shaped the greatness of Bengaluru to build much more stronger Bengaluru in the hands of the youth today. Thank you so much, sir. I call upon you to give you our address. The Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, ADK Sore, the dynamic Aishwarya Ji, I feel lightning in smart clothes. Santa. Such a powerful young lady. Congrats on this great idea to the wonderful jury here, to the principal, teachers, staff, students of various schools behind this idea thon. Shall we start on a lighter note? Bengaluru nai mari jogata ni mge. Hala. Ondo, dog show nadi taith. Okay. Dogs from various parts of Karnataka have come. There is jury sitting there. All the dogs want to impress the jury. So every dog is wagging its tail wildly. Alun daun gera nai mari there. Hubli nai mari there, Shimoga nai mari there. Yella nai mari in balai pata 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 and alad thirubha kare. Onde ondu nai mari matra inga alad thirubha. Adhyakri inga alad thirubha. Adhu Bengaluru nai mari saar. Adhyakri inga alad thirubha. Bengaluru litra alad thirubha jaga yalli de saar. Andhra andhra. Bengaluru alli. Bengaluru nai mari bala alad thirubha ke jaga illa. See, this is the basic problem. Too little space, too many people. So many problems. So how do we solve it? We need all the ideas we can get. And here is such a bunch of such wonderful ideas. Thank you for this. I came in and they gave me this band, Active Citizenship. You know the first film I directed was with Mr. Kamal Hassan. It was called Rama Shama Bama. Right? Before that, I directed something else with another superstar, not from cinema, from cricket, Mr. Rahul Dravid. When I directed him, Naibru Seri, we did a series, it was called as Active Citizenship. What we tried to do was, we would go to schools and tell students, we'll ask them, what do you want to become? You say, I want to be a doctor, I want to be an engineer, I want to be a politician, right? Don't stop there. Say, I want to be a doctor, and an active citizen. I want to be a lawyer and an active citizen. I want to be a corporate honcho and an active citizen. 
ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೋ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲಿ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಇಸ್ ದ ಹೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಕಾಲ್ ದಿ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಥಾನ್ ಸೊ ಓವರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ದೇ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಮೀ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಶೂಟ್ ಆಲ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ದಿ ಗ್ಲೋಬ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೋರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೋರ್ ಈಸ್ the best place i've ever seen it's my favorite place always why because it's your home if you are lived in bangalore as long as i have every nook and corner of bangalore every street every place will have a memory in your mind and that's what makes us so close to bangalore so what do you do when something is your favorite what do you do for something it's your favorite right you have a favorite nephew what do you do you will keep a extra chocolate for him you make the best food you call him and say hey i made bisibal about come home right if is your favorite nephew if you have a favorite customer what do you do whenever a new dvd comes you'll call him for sir this has come come and pick it up right you always reserve the best things for your favorite people and when it's your favorite city what do you do you do what is best for the city what's best for the city what's best for the city first it's what's best for citizens right he was so right one of the jury just now mentioned what is a city city is not just flyovers and bridges and it's not the infrastructure at all it's the people when you see a happy bengalurian that is the best bangalore possible so whole concept is about what makes people happy number one what makes bengalurians happy second thing there are going to be visitors there are going to be tourists what do tourists want from bangalore what do you want as a tourist when you go to another city what are you looking for you looking for happy places nice places to hang out you looking for extremely safe city as a visitor as a tourist you want to be welcome you're looking for something which is friendly there that's right and the third thing is what is the perception of the city that is the third thing and a very very important thing what you guys are trying here called the brand bangalore what is the brand bangalore it used to be garden city right not because of lal bagh and kabban park those were the days when every house had a garden because the plots were big and there used to be garden in every house that was why bangalore was called the garden city not just because of the big gardens and then slowly the plots became smaller and smaller the gardens disappeared buildings became vertical and all these issues started so what is the new brand that you want you have an it brand you have a silicon city brand what is the other brand that you want i really wish the brand bangalore should be bangalore is a noun now right it's a noun it has to become a verb bengaluru becomes a verb verb for what verb for excellence when you want something done fantastically you want great excellence somewhere go to bengaluru you want a job done well you hey give it to her she will bengaluru it bengaluru becomes a verb for excellence bengaluru becomes a verb for perfection bengaluru becomes a verb for friendliness that is the kind of atmosphere the brand that you create all over the world that people want to come here people want to associate here for business for travel for film making for everything you make that as brand bangalore so how do you do that how do you do that how do you do something like that how do you create that brand about 20 years back there was a heart surgeon here he had some um, japanese friends coming over he said ramesh can you just host them for the evening take care of them i said sir please send them they came those were days before internet those kind of things and these guys had translators in their hand uh, they would want to say something they would type it in japanese after 5 minutes the translation used to come so it is a very very tiresome conversation for me the first question the japanese asked me was they used to punch and show it to me it would say why all indian films same same and i used to say um yes sir sorry sir we will correct it we'll try to make different types of films second question tick 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 another 5 minutes why your house so clean road so dirty you got the point the answer was there because you think it's your house and that's something else so that's the solution you own your city you own your city it's my house it's my city bangalore is mine idu namma metro idu namma lal bagh idu namma kabban park ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ರಸ್ತೆಗಳು ಇದು ನಮ್ಮದು 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 ದಟ್ ಓನರ್ಶಿಪ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಕಿಡ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ದೇ ಗಾಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಲವ್ಲಿ ಐಡಿಯಾ
Each one of them is spectacular. I can go into each one of them. I've had the, uh, uh, I should have sent me that. It was so beautiful. Every thought of it is so good. These are seven steps that they have sent, okay? They're amazing. I'm sure these uh, people have explained it to you. And I like the way this group discussion went on. Such amazing thoughts. Each one said such a fabulous thing. But the first gentleman said, um, there was a seminar event to where a village boy said, this is my village, this, 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 that. I want a cycle route here. There are two things in this. One, these are the things I love. These are the things which matter in my life. And I want all of them in my proximity so that I can cycle there. That's what the message is. That's what everybody wants. There is a very big corporate psychology. In fact, it's a, a practice done in big corporates where in the director's board, there are 10 people, they keep an empty chair. In the empty chair, you're supposed to imagine a newborn kid so that every decision you make, he approves and says, okay, this is okay for me. I'll be a 50-year-old man in 50 years. The decision you take now is okay with me. That is the way you decide things. You imagine a little toddler. You imagine a newborn baby sitting there in the boardroom and approving every decision you take. That is the way you future-proof a city. It's not about, because I remember when I was your, your age, the Bangalore population was 15 lakhs, probably 20, not more than that. Imagine where we have landed now. So the decisions that they took are affecting me. The decisions that you take are going to affect my children, my grandchildren. Please be careful about that. The other gentleman said amazing thing where he said, you must celebrate the right things in the city, which I think is amazing, sir. We have such wonderful things to celebrate about. So Brand Bangalore is highlighting what we already have, the amazing things that we have. The other, Mr. Tushar Jar said a very beautiful thing. He said, be fearless, come out with your ideas. You know how Google works? They have something called hippos. Beware of the hippos. H-I-P-P-O-S. It means beware of H-I, highest, H-I-P, highest paid person opinion. Beware of the highest paid person's opinion. Just because he's the highest paid, because there, his opinion is not the only thing which matters. Invite all ideas, invite all ideas. Who knows where is a gold mine? About 100 years back, there was a lady going on a road. She met with an almost an accident. And then she said, why is this happening? She had an idea. She went to the corporation and said, sir, let's draw a line in the middle of the road so that I'll keep left, they will keep left. The corporation said, um, it's okay, it's not a great idea. She insisted, she insisted. That came into force and every road in the world has a central mark now. It is an idea which came out like this. That's how ideas matter. Ideas matter. God knows what's going to come out from you guys. Every idea of yours will be respected. There's a lovely Trojan slogan which says, the beauty is when history repeats hope. When somebody is hoping something and it comes true in history, that's the most beautiful thing. Here is a hope that the kids have given. This is what has to be done. When if it comes true, if it becomes a part of history, if it is executed, that is the beauty of it. When hope becomes history. And I hope the hope that the children have raised today comes true today. And all the other children, I'm sure each one of you has an idea as grand as this, if not better. It's a pity that all of you didn't come out of it. This is what I want to stress on. Every child in the school will have a grand idea. It's hesitating. It's afraid. It's afraid that it's not a great idea. Please don't do not. Do not do that. Please be motivated. The difference between you and the kids who presented today is just the courage to say it. There is no reason for you guys to back out. Please come out with ideas. The more the ideas, the better. Mr. Tusha said it beautifully. The more the ideas, the better the city will be. Lovely meeting you all. Thank you so much. Let's build Brand Bangalore.